Friday Night Sports Extra is brought to you by your local Inland Northwest Honda dealers. It is tailgate night on Friday Night Sports Extra. It is now my favorite night of the year because <laughs> Longhorn Barbecue is here and they brought food in and now I can't concentrate. I just want to go over there and hit that food. Uh, I want to thank our uh, social media contributors for helping us out. They're going to get some food tonight. We're going to tell you a little bit later how you can be a Twitter contributor as well. Nate, maybe you'll get invited to tailgate night next time and get to enjoy some of this awesome food. Now, Tom was hanging out at the Coeur d'Alene game, barely got <laughs> back and apologized to the Washington State and Idaho State patrols, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> We've got those highlights coming up a little bit later on. Yeah. Keith and I have a little more insulation. Tom put a jacket on because the door is open for the tailgate. <laughs> I literally ran out. We just <laughs> ran out of the car. Right. You know, we got the highlights ready for you, so we're going to have those, and my goodness, that is a game. We're going to get to those a little later. Huge game in North Idaho. Huge game in the old Bi-County League. Lynn Ritzville Sprague against Reardon. Northeast 2B, most of the towns of Ritzville, Lynn, and Sprague were in Reardon tonight. Broncos up 7-0 at the half. The Indians got on the board early in the third. The give to Dan Pion gets outside. It's a foot race, but watch what he does here. Oh, the nifty cutback. He turns two Broncos inside out, makes another one do a somersault. He's gone. 75 yards. 7-6, though. The try for two was no good. Second half, tough sledding for Lynn Ritzville's offense, trying to hang on to the lead. Jason Sattery throws it, trying to get it out of bounds. No! That is a great play by a defensive back. Wyatt Newman gets his feet in. Newman. The Indians had one last chance. Three minutes to go. Fourth down. Zach Winecoop trying to scramble forward. He comes up two yards short, and the Broncos run out the clock. Two of the classiest coaching staffs in the area after the game tonight. Lynn Ritzville, Sprague hangs on for the 7 6 win over the Indians. That was a nice game up there, Dennis, but you got some good GSL games for us as well. We're going to get to that North Idaho game. You're going to want to stick around for that, by the way. The we got Coeur the game Lake winner, City. man. We got the Overtime. game winner. I can't believe we did, but uh, Dennis, get us going here with a little GSL. Act. All right, Ferris and me, the double dip of Joe Alby, the nightcap here. Yep. Ooh, that would look good on the barbecue, huh, Bear? Oh, wait, never mind. First minute, Mitch Pike rolls to his right, goes to the end zone. But it's picked off! Daniel Munoz, Meade keeps their 7-6 lead. Third quarter, Meade players, uh-oh, who's got it? No one's got it, Ferris has got it. It's recovered by James Mann. That would lead to a Ferris field goal. Fourth quarter, Pike hits Keegan Bradley with a shovel pass, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, breaks another tackle, and look at him go down the side, takes it down to the four-yard line. The Saxons would score one play later, and they beat Meade tonight, a big win. 16-7. North Central and Mount Spokane in the early game, a 3A game. The All Red Indians rolling here, trying to get something going against Mount Spokane. The Wildcats screen, though, picked off. Kanan Charton returns it to the 35-yard line. Still in the first period, Jack McBride tries to go deep, but it is intercepted. The return favor by Jacob Barnes. On that drive, Matt Pulliam scores from the middle of the field, breaks a tackle, and he's in. 16 yards, 10 nothing at that point, Mount Spokane. Second quarter, Indians, oh, look at that. A center, bad snap over the head. McBride for the safety out of the gun. The Wildcats go on to win this game 33-7 to over North Central. Central Valley, a young team, kind of have some ups and downs, heading to Gonzaga Prep tonight, trying to get a win against the Bullpups early in the season, still looking for playoff position. Head out to Gonzaga Prep, where the Prepsters were looking awful good tonight. First quarter, Liam Bell's going to keep it on the fake. He's giggity, giggity, almost gone. Not going to quite get there. Gets caught inside the 30. Bullpups are going to score. They take a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Bell drops back. This time he's going to connect with Nick Johnson over the middle. Trucks a defender or two on his way into the end zone. 14-3 at that point. Bullpups, few minutes left in the half. Jack Bamis is going to take it up the middle, and he's a tough dude to bring down. Stiff arm. It's the circle on the way into the end zone. That's a touchdown. Gonzaga Prep goes on to win this one big, 49-24. to Out to the Valley we go. Lewis and Clark taking on U-High and looked good early for Lewis and Clark. A big pile at the goal line here when they'd finally get everything sorted out. Taylor Duncan was on the bottom of that. He was in the end zone, LC of 28-7. Titans trying to come back late in the half, but Logan O'Neill runs out of time. He's sacked by Blake Oshner. Tigers uh, up three scores at the half. Third quarter, though, here comes you high. O'Neal's going to keep it himself, dives into the end zone from five yards out, down to two touchdown lead. Early in the fourth, O'Neal's going to swing it out to Bryce Williamson, the touchdown machine. He knows he's in. He puts the hands up to the sky, cuts the lead to seven, but the Tigers said, not tonight. 
48 to 21. They scored 20 points in the fourth quarter. They poured on late to get the win. One game for last night at uh, uh, Joe Abbey Stadium. Dallas Hammer has more with that. One, night, one GSL game out of Joe Albee Stadium last night. Rogers serving as the home team against Shadel Park. Brett Rippon leading the Highlanders tonight. First drive of the game, and Highlanders get on the board. Brett Rippon connects with George Pillamai. He dives and just gets the ball past the pylon. That gives Shadel the 7 0 lead. Rogers looking to answer. Austin Holm dropping back and throwing, and he gets picked off by Matt Keenan. No one stopping that guy. 40 yards for the score. Shadel got things done on the ground as well. Darius Savick batters, gets the ball, and the kid with the awesome name has even more awesome moves. Gets into the end zone for Shadel's third touchdown in the first quarter. They, oh boy. Brett Rippon tosses three touchdowns in the first half. Only played the first half. Shadel picks up the win, 41 to 14. I need, oh. Oh, we're still doing highlights. I thought I was going to get the, it smells so good. I mean, it's, it's absolutely delicious, but you know what? We got great Northern League football to get you to as well. West Valley taking on Cheney. Not a lot of offense in this one. Blackhawks giving it to Ty Graham, and he's going to get it up for the first down, about a 10-yard pickup right there, but this game was all about the defense. West Valley on the screen pass. Nothing doing as Cruz Gum there to drop Zach Herford for the loss. But the Eagles did some hitting tonight. Taylor Morton. Check out this hit. Ooh, laying the salt on that Blackhawk right there. Biggest offensive play of the first half. Cheney going up top. Josh Martin to Logan Clayton. Bringing it in right there. He gets down to the nine, but the Blackhawks turned it over on fourth down from the five as Austin Klein stopped for a loss. Game was scoreless in the second half, but West Valley. Comes out, they get the win, 17 to 14. All right, let's send it to Dallas Hammer. He probably has more on how he can be a Twitter contributor. Not quite yet. I'm going to toss to Dallas because <laughs> I have a new best friend. There's a couple new best friends. we got Chuck and Chad here from Longhorn Barbecue. They're feeding everybody here. You guys are super awesome, and I mean to tell you, I'm taking this thing home with me for Sunday's game with the Seahawks. You know what? It also is super awesome, all of our social media contributors. If you want to know how you can be a part of what we do, here's Dallas Hammer with more. Each week on Friday Night Sports Extra, we highlight someone from our 700 ESPN HS social media team. Tonight, our featured reporter is Jason Greer. Now, this is Jason's second year sharing photos and scores for us. You can follow him at Jason Greer 84. Now, why the 84? Well, on Saturdays, Jason wears number 84 as a receiver for the Whitworth Pirates. Jason, thank you so much for finding the time to help us out. Now, you too can be featured on TV, but first, you got to join our team. Tweet or Facebook us at 700 ESPN HS and simply tell us what team you'd like to help us cover. Okay, we've been counting down the top 10 fields. There's only one countdown for tailgating, Longhorn Barbecue, all right? That, just forget about it. All right, field of the week, we're going to go to Inchalim. It's the only place that you have to get on a ferry to get to. That's right. You've got to get on the Gifford Ferry to get to Inchalim. But it's more than a ferry ride. It's a pretty good place to watch football in the sun, one of the few areas that doesn't have lights. The football has been pretty good, too. Who can forget the Samoan Express? Afalamala and Eddie Ina, who led the Hornets to a state title in 1991. And we took credit for the Samoan Express nickname on Friday Night Sports Extra. We came up with it. They also won the title back-to-back -back eight-man titles in 2000 and 2001. Chris Birch led the Hornets to a title win with 336 yards rushing in a single game. He's now the coach up at Republic. And the field featured one of the best father-son combos ever. Lonnie and Jacoby Simpson. It's, I think it's the only place I've ever been to a football game where you had to get on a boat first and then a boat to come home. Just want to clarify one thing, though. Simpson father-son team did not play at the same time. No. So there's that. They, they played a generation apart like they should. We just want to clarify. You know what? Longhorn Barbecue out here having a great time for tailgate night. The game of the night, possibly the game of the year in North Idaho coming up next on Friday Night Sports Extra.